assist of the game. Well, today it comes from the men in the middle. Kevin, let me tell you, anytime you get a big man who can pass like this, it really changes the way you can play offense, diversifies your offensive attack. Let me ask, who is the best passing big man you played with? Australian. Yes. Big redhead. Good passer down on the low block. Number one pick by the Minnesota Timberwolves. Amir Johnson at the four with Valanciunas at the pivot. Lewis Williams out there with Baskins. And it's Ross in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And Butler, here we go. Hits the front of the rim and out. Great look. Disappointing result. You know, most times he knocks that one down. on the wing. Defended by Butler. Outside Williams. Kicks it to Vasquez. And it's off from three-point range. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the 76ers. And Butler, here we go. Heritage has a wide-open look. Off target from outside. Toronto trailer. Here's Ross, marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Ross! Boy, this is shaping up to be a real barn burner. Well, I think it already is. I mean, we're going to find out which team tightens up under the pressure and which one can stay poised. Here's Brooks, nails the runner. Brooks. And the Bulls lead by one. Despite his ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options, which you have to have when one of your main guys is struggling. Butler on the way. Back to Brooks. Feeds it to Miritich. Miritich sets the screen for Butler. The drive by Brooks. Five to shoot. No good from 11 feet. Gets it. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Look at that effort and energy as he creates the second chance and then converts. He doesn't just convert, Clark. He converts with maximum force. <laughs> He can give lessons on the art of offensive rebounding. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Patterson, he's checked in for Johnson. DeRozan comes in for Terrence Ross. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Vasquez. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Joakim Noah is checked in for Sanders. Saul comes in for Taj Gibson. Lundleby's checked in for Miritich. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Aaron Brooks. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. During that break, Dwayne Casey had some words for his team. He was not at all satisfied with their effort level, saying, we're losing the hustle plays and all the 50-50 balls. We simply can't win that way. We've got to get after it. Let's see how they respond, Kevin. And thank you for that, Doris. And it's Rose penetrating. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Here's Noah. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That's on Patrick Patterson. How about Joe Kim Noah? Just nine points. And he has one steal to his credit as well. But he's done a better job than the numbers indicate, really. I think he's been really sound defensively. He needs help his club. The Raptors making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. That's big. I mean, if it wasn't for the miss, they'd be sitting in a much better position. Did not come away totally empty. You know, regardless of who starts the break, it seems like he's usually the one to finish it. And that's because of how well he attacks the rim on the dead run. Rosen dishes to Patterson. Back to DeRozan. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Patterson can't get it to go. Well, that's the way to get the board there. They've just been rebounding well all game long. Rose with the ball. Guarded now by Patrick Patterson. Rose passes to Dunleavy. He kicks to Gasol. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Patterson's got three rebounds now in this one. Johnson attacking. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Lowry has the open look. A three-pointer no good. Chicago leading by four. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Absolutely, Clark. No one in his airspace on that dunk. Yeah, but come on, Kevin. The defense can't let that happen. <laughs> I hope they let it happen more. It's fun to watch that guy fly. <laughs> Just a gift. Two points they gave up. That's awful. Well, they're trying to come back here, but you've got to get a better look at the basket to get it done. Fantastic dunk, and we decided to hang around up here for a while, Kevin. Well, maybe you know, they didn't want to land awkwardly. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was a 
safety move. Or maybe he just wanted to give the photographers a, a better angle for the shot. Here's DeRozan. It's rebounded by Noah. Noah's got eight rebounds in this game. Chicago's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. You take a risk with those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't collect. Time call here, and the Bulls decide to talk it over. They're ahead by four. There's a minute 34 left in the game. Rose kicks to Buck. Pass to Gasol. from the corner and right on target good Gasol's got the lead up to six now for the Bulls picture perfect with the turnaround there's no stopping that shot Butler attacking it's stolen by Johnson well it's going to be tough for them but you have to continue to compete it's not over just play see what happens yep you can't afford empty possessions and DeRozan kicks to Johnson and a miss there on the triple. Just an enormous advantage for them on the boards. Guys, the key to the lead to me has been they've dominated the glass. It's that simple. Derek Rose. 52 seconds left to play here on the fourth. And DeRozan. Here we go. And he gets it to go. He's got his strong suit. The ability to find his way through the defense and finish at the rim. The Bulls have gone 6 to 13. So just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the court. Here's Gasol. Count that one. Gasol's got the lead. Back up to 8 now for Chicago. And they're getting that lead way up there now. It should be a stroll to the final whistle from here. Yeah, this late in the game, it'll be almost impossible for them to blow a lead like this. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Noah dishes to Gasol. Defensive foul. Patrick Harris. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by nine. And the Raptors going out now with a whole new group. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Larry Sanders is checked in for Noah. Miritich comes in for Dunleavy. Tony Snell's checked in for Butler. And it's Brooks in for Derrick Rose. Fields. Miritich grabs the miss. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little better. Make the pass in that situation. Don't force a bad shot. And that one falls for Brooks. The Bulls making a switch here. Aaron Brooks. And both free throws good for Brooks. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and polish it off. So Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. How much to be critical of with this win, Clark? Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed